back again for another FMTA. Now, in this, these two episodes, I will show you guys Clan Wars. Now, for Clan Wars, you see, like, little red soldiers coming in out of nowhere. Now, if you walk up to them, they, you, will, you will have to battle with them. Now, as you can see, I am battling this clan, the Cyro Band, in unknown territory. Therefore, the background will be like this. Yeah, rocky terrain. So that, that's what, like, the in-between areas of all the towns look like. Just rocky. Alright. So. However, you're still bound to the laws of the, um, this, whatever the heck the day is. And this day, I can't use silence. Which, I don't have silence, silencing characters at all. And I think I'll eventually have one eventually. I think eventually I'll have one, but, uh, yeah. Not now. So, this is pretty much a clan battle. A, um, clan war. Basically, you fight another clan. That's it. Nothing else to, um, to know about here. Just, you just, your clan and their clan, you do battle, that's it. However, the thing about clan battles is that they last a long time. I mean, there are just as, they probably be just as good as you are. However, who knows, maybe, they're, they're, maybe their levels are generally higher. I don't know. But what I do know is that I think their levels are pretty much the average of all your characters combined. I don't know. But this is what I do know. Okay. Now, I'm wondering, I think I'm going to record just these two clan battles, or these two clans are a little bit, one, about one or two more. Because, because they take too long, I'm not going to go uh, record any clan battles. Um, well, I'm not going to record much clan battles, because they take too long. Look at this. I'm, this is two clan battles, and it almost take 15 minutes. That's how long this, this clan wars are. They, take, they, normally, they normally do take too long. Alright, now, now we've got that settled. Let's go back onto the battle. Okay, so, as you can see, only the... I think that's my... Wait, what's it my archer? Or, dang, I, I forgot that count. I think she, since she has green hair, she's an enemy archer. Because as you can see, uh, there are two white monks there. The, um, my white monk and the enemy white monk, you can tell the difference because they wear differently. And what's cheap is that you can't choose their color. Because... You're a white if you're a white monk, you have to wear blue, and if you're an anime white monk, you have to wear red. And I think for most cases, you do have to wear red, no matter what you are. It is, it is, uh, I think there's a pattern here, usually. It, like, if you wear red as a normal job, your enemy will most likely wear blue, blue with red, and green with purple, and purple with green. Except maybe for the snipers. Snipers, like, snipers are generally purple, however, their enemy, they are uh, enemies, and that's... No, enemy assassin. The, the ally assassin is purple, but the enemy assassin is black. But I do know the enemy ninja, I think it's green. Yeah, because from the uh, anti law mission, the enemy, the enemy is green. But I don't think I've, I've been there yet. I don't think I've been there yet. And if you wear yellow most of the time, the enemy will probably wear yellow too, but will have some sort of difference. Like hair color, in the case of the archer. Or like slightly orangey color. I think it's for hunters, like slightly orangey or oranger color. So yeah, that's how you tell the difference. Cause I, cause um, I really like the white mage sprite. I mean, the enemy white mage sprite. Cause, cause they have white and blue. I like to wear, I like to wear that kind of, that kind of clothing. If I were cosplaying, I like to wear um, uh, an enemy white mage outfit with white and blue instead of white and red, like every other white mage in the series. Because that is awesome. I like, I like the enemy white mage sprite. Okay, so, as you can see, I killed that Moogle without, uh, after the encounter. And, what kind of name is that? Cochran? Cochran? What the heck? Alright. Also, the, abil the abilities of each clan are different, I guess. Because, um, I think every clan is the same thing. Because I think the Cyro Band always has that, that, that soldier there. I forgot if you end up facing stronger guys because the more the farther you are into the game, the more clans you're gonna have a choice of facing, and that sort of thing. 
So anyway, instead of attacking me, soldiers love to do this. When mostly when a soldier is weak, a weekend, you see why them like um, doing that pose. They'll usually want, run away from the main battle, and um, use first aid, even if it's right next to an enemy, right in front of them, like right in front of them, right to the side of them. They'll use first aid instead of attacking. Even though it's few, pretty much futile, since the first aid only cures about for the mo for twenty HP the most, and by the most maybe like for any level between the most. But either way, it's insignificant amount of HP to heal. Given, given the the soldier has good HP. It's insignificant. So Chelny, my my um Mong Knight, is going to do that. And thankfully he misses. Stamp so um so Lu Wan can just go kill it for the win. Alright, good job. Uh traps. Right. I don't know what to say to this. Okay, so I got a missile gun. Now I don't think I've explained mithril weapons that much. Or did I? I don't remember. Okay, so, as you can see, I learned uh, Cure, so I'm gonna Slife, and Kingsley's gonna use um, Fyra. Fyra? And that's it. Okay, anyway. I've not explained... I've not explained mithril weapons, or did I? The mithril weapons, if a job that can wield said, we said weapon, mithril weapon, can learn the respective combo of of their job. Like I say, Mythal Gun, the only job that can wield guns are gunners. No, duh. And gunners are a Moogle only job, so whatever gunner I have using Mythal Gun can learn the gun combo. Which, oh, in the beginning of the game, Marche, as in me, will automatically learn to fight the uh, combat combo, which is the soldier slash warrior combo. Okay. Uh, I'll not show you combos just yet because as of this record, as of this recording, I still have not done any combo. Mostly the fact that I don't need combos. Yeah. So watching you. Okay, I'm just gonna eat a grape because I'm hungry. I like grapes. You know, if I was a Yoshi, I'd like grapes the most. I like grapes. My, my favorite, still my favorite fruit. Ever. So anyway, this this um clan, the um clan marble. Sorry, can you shell? I don't have any guys that use shell, so I'm good. Hmm. So this is the first appearance of Wagner as a fighter. Believe me, fighters kick serious amounts of butt. In this game, they're like unstoppable almost most of the time. Now. Now, it'll be pretty awesomer what I'm going to do next with Wagner. So, I'm going to learn as many fighter abilities as I can, right? And then, it's gonna be, I'm going to do a lot more things, because I'm going to make him a hunter fighter, which will have the highest, highest physical range of any human job, combined with the abilities of a fighter. Yeah, that's deadly. Now, if I can manage to get Concentrate on or something, I could probably learn um, Beatdown with a pretty good accuracy. However, this job will also work, this combo will also work with Gunner Mong Knight, which I would, would do with Chelney. Which, learn the abilities of the Mong Knight, and then use the Gunner to um, use the range of a gun with the, with, the, with the abilities of a Mong Knight. Which is pretty deadly, by the way. So, I finally used Power Break, which is probably decent. I uh, actually a decent move. The soldier abilities are... Mostly enfeebling or cripple, crippling, because all these they do is they and warriors pretty much do is they lower the lower the stats of um, their their target. They got power break which lowers attack, speed break which lowers speed, uh, mana break which uh, which um, lowers magic, magic break which lowers with some um, attacks MP, and soldiers learn mug which is pretty much the attack and steal. However, they're not as good at stealing as thieves are. And, um, Sensor, which I forgot what it does, but it's completely useless in any given situation other than to scout. Or if you want to use uh, a thief to steal stuff, you can use Sensor. And Warriors are in Body Slam, which is not, it's not a Pokemon move. 
By the way, body slam is pretty much like your double, your, your takedown. It's like the Pokemon version of take, the um, this game where the takedown. That's body slam. And they also learn um, um, some of the move, which are, I forgot the name of the move, but I don't know. I actually I forgot. I forgot the name of the move, but the, its ability is to um, is to attack and not activate any reaction abilities like counter. Yeah. Okay. So that that and that's pretty much it about soldiers and warriors. Fighters. Fighters rock. I mean, they even got this awesome reaction ability, which pretty much is counter and reflex at the same time. And reflex okay, I'll show you the abilities that I just told you. Reflex is ability learned most learned most most used by fencers, which can also be learned by sages, paladins, and I do not know what if a banger dog can know reflex, but I do know this clear fences can learn it and paladins and Oh great, I forgot the other one. Anyway. Oh yeah, sages. So it's ability that when when you feel like physically attacked, you know, with just plain fight, you do not take any damage. You're pretty much like perma miss. Just like block arrow, and block arrows is the arrow version of this ability learned by archers and and um, animists. So and then there's um, counter, which is a counter attack, learned mostly by white monks, but can also be learned by thieves. Um, then there's strike back. Strike back is like the most n most killer uh, ability ever, other than Dragonheart, I think. But um, strike back is pretty much this. When you get physically attacked, you do not take damage and you counter. We learn mo most famously by fighters, and I think gladiators learned it. I think gladiators learned it too. Or was it? No, yeah, it's gladiators. So uh, you cast, so you suddenly cast life on Lorek, and or is it? Yeah, I think it's Lorek. It's in this animist. Yeah, that's the other thing. Okay, now, also the the arrow version of Strike Back is Return Fire, which is learned by jugglers and assassins. I think yeah, jugglers and assassins, which is pretty much the arrow the arrow version of. Strike back, which you don't take damage, and then you just throw the arrow back at whoever threw through the through the arrow. Which is kind of cool, but however, it does not affect guns. Like when you take when you take damage from guns, you're done. You're done. You cannot. You can't counter that. I think there was an ability which could counter guns. I forgot if there's any. Or is it one in, in A2? I don't know. I, I just don't know. But all in all, reflex is better than than reflex is better than um block arrows. However, block arrows does not does not apply does not just apply for attack. They apply for every ability that involves an arrow, which is I guess is better. Well, I guess it's slightly better in a way, but for reflex, just works with anyone. Because think about it, reflex when you do a basic attack, you do not sorry you do not you do not get attacked. It's like how should I put this in a way that makes it awesomer? Like if you have an enemy gunner and you have reflex. Let's say I'm a paladin. Let's say, let's say um, I get reflex as a paladin, right? And someone shoots a gun at me with a regular attack. I pretty much dodge a bullet. Yeah, I, I pretty much do the matrix and just dodge, which is pretty awesome. Right? You can pretty much do the matrix in a video, in um in a, in a Final Fantasy game. And a turn based strategy. Anyway, so that's the end of this clan battle. I'm just gonna go fire this sucker. Oh wait, I missed. Um. Wait, I'm gonna end up beating this because it's, it's almost time. It's only like, like a few minutes left. Okay, so I'm gonna explain a few. That's a few abilities. I just crit. Whoa! I just crit this guy with the staff. I pretty much bashed it in the head, threw him away. Literally, like, just threw him away with the staff, and I just critical hit. Done. The thing's over. So that's the end of the episode. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Jumbia. Okay. End already.